Well, my name is Dave, and I'm from Havelock, North Carolina, about 30 miles west of uh, Cape Lookout here. But I've owned uh, a Carolina skip. I actually have two of them. Recently, last year, purchased a, a DLV 238. Yeah. So I have two of them in the family. The 238 came up. It was a good price for sale by owner, and uh, I picked it up to go a little bit more offshore with a little bit, little bit softer ride than the 218 provides. My wife and I have been running offshore. My buddy's here. Uh, well, about 30 years actually, and we'll we'll get out there a ways. Uh, my first fishing spot's normally 28 miles out, and I've had that DLV 218 out uh, 50 miles out to a little place we call it a big rock, trolling for mahi mahi and once in a while a tuna and, and that sort of thing. What I was looking for is a boat that would get me into the skinny water here in the inlet, in the inlets, and yet I still I have this. Uh, it's kind of like the inlet has a pull on me, like a magnet on the bow. You know, I kind of like to get offshore when I can. Most of the time when I go fishing, I'm usually going fishing offshore. Well, of course, uh, I always enjoy the, the gatherings here with CarolinaSkiffOwner.com. Those are, those are really a highlight in the year for us. Uh, usually those are inshore events, of course, but uh, I've just had so many adventures with the, with the, two, with the 218 offshore, any, anything from you know, having uh, you know, giant uh, uh, sunfish come up at the bow or around the boat, of course, we're you know, large hammerhead sharks and those sort of things. There's always an adventure out there. You pull up uh, octopus from from the uh, down at the bottom, and just a lot of things happen out there. So to me, it's about value. You can spend a lot more money. Uh, you can buy a lot less boat. You can buy more boat. But dollar for dollar, I don't believe there's anything out there that'll that'll really get you in a boat in a good safe uh, vessel for the water than a Carolina skiff.